This video is going to be a very quick tutorial on how to calculate the E cell or the voltage of a galvanic cell or a voltaic cell. To do this, we're going to use the equation E cell is equal to the voltage at the cathode minus the voltage at the anode. In order to uh, calculate the voltage of a cell, we need to consider the voltage at the cathode and the voltage at the anode. To help us figure out the cathode versus the anode in our cell, we're going to use the mnemonic red cat. If you've never heard that mnemonic trick before, I'll explain it as we use it. So let's consider, for example, a voltaic cell made from zinc and copper two ions. If, if we wanted to calculate the voltage of this cell, our first step would be to figure out which half reaction is taking place at the cathode and which half reaction is taking place at the anode. So we're going to start by identifying the two half reactions, writing them out, zinc going to zinc 2 plus and losing two electrons, which is an oxidation reaction, and copper 2 plus going to copper 0, picking up two electrons, which is a reduction because oxidation is loss and reduction is gain. The red cat mnemonic trick reminds us that the reduction takes place at the cathode, which means that this half reaction is occurring at the cathode and the other is occurring at the anode. Once we've got these identified, we're going to go to our textbook and look up the table of standard reduction potentials and find our half reactions in that table. You should have no problem finding this reaction in your table of reduction potentials. The voltage of this half reaction is 0.34. Be careful when you're looking this reaction up in your table because there are a couple of reactions that copper 2 will actually do. You're looking for the reaction where copper 2 goes to copper 0, not copper plus 1. So make sure you're picking out the correct half reaction. This reaction is going to be harder to find, mostly because in your table, everything is written as a reduction, and this half reaction is an oxidation. So what you're looking for is not this reaction exactly, but the reduction version of this reaction, which is just the backwards reaction. So you're looking for zinc 2 plus plus 2 electrons going to zinc 0. The potential for that is negative 0.76 volts, and we're going to take that voltage even though the zinc reaction is actually occurring as an oxidation, not as a reduction, because in our equation, this little negative sign is built into the equation to change the value of the oxidation half reaction um, so that it is correctly reflected and calculated in the equation. If that doesn't make any sense to you, that's okay. We'll go over that more in class. Um, again, make sure that you're choosing the right reaction. Look carefully. Once we have these values identified, we're just going to plug them into the equation. Uh, e cell equals E cat minus E an. Our cathode value is 0.34. Uh, our anode value is negative 0.76. And again, notice that we are not changing the signs of any of these numbers that are coming off of the table. We're just plugging them into the equation, and the equation is changing the sign for us. So the voltage of this reaction, this cell, is 1.10 volts.